Hi, Dave Spaulding, Handgun Combatants. As a traveling firearms instructor, I find myself quite often at the mercy of whatever facility I happen to be running a class on. Uh, you just never know when you're flying across the country what a particular facility or a host is going to have available to you, and you pretty much just have to adapt to whatever is available for your use. Whenever I can, I prefer to travel in my own pickup truck because then I can take the gear that I need with me. But even then, you want to try to keep that gear as compact, succinct, to the point as possible because you just don't want to be carrying a lot of gear that you will not need or will not use. Like many instructors, I started out using steel targets and I found those to be kind of problematic, not, on, not only from you know, putting them together and then tearing them down and storing them and the weight involved, but also because depending on the size of the steel plate, you're oftentimes not getting the shot placement you need to save your own life. Some of these steel targets are as large as a full-size human silhouette. You can have a split 18 inches apart, and as long as you hear that ring, you're under the impression you got a good hit, and that's not the case. So for that reason, I tend to go with paper or cardboard targets because the paper does not lie. You get your hit or you don't. But also, by relying on paper targets, it makes it a lot easier to travel from place to place, keeping that load of equipment quite, uh, quite compact. What I have been using for many years are basically these target spikes. These were made for me by Bob Mazars from Templar Custom Arms. I have a spike. I've got an 18-inch uh, strip of metal that gives me the split that I need to put my uh, IPSC or IDPA cardboard on it, drive it into the ground. Why this instead of a conventional target stand? Because it's not susceptible to the wind, the rain, maybe snow, things that can push it over. Have you ever used that conventional target stand and had that problem? The next thing you're doing is putting rocks and everything on it to hold it upright? Yeah, I've been there too and I want to try to avoid that. The problem I'm having nowadays is I'm getting more and more requests for indoor range classes. As uh, we as shooters are being chased indoors as outdoor rangers are getting closed, I find myself in that environment. And you know what? You can't drive these things into the floor of an indoor range, or at least the host would not be happy with you doing that. So I went back to Bob at Templar and I asked him to come up with a target stand for me that would allow me to use it both indoors and outdoors because I didn't want to carry an outdoor range stand and an indoor range stand. I wanted to keep it straight to the point. Bob came up with a pretty cool idea for me. He calls it the handy stand. You can see I got my 18 inch split for my IDPA cardboard. But what's unique about this is this cross piece that unfolds right here like this. Now I know what you're going to say. Dave, those kind of things are already out there. They're already available. You don't need to create a new one. And you're right. But I looked at those products, and they just weren't robust enough for me. They didn't do what I wanted them to do. So I asked Bob to go back to the drawing board. Now, as you can see, this folds in here like this. Really easy to transport. And you'll also notice that this one's a little bit short. It's a prototype. The final run will be the same length at 18 inches. Also, you'll notice there's a little bend right in here. That keeps the thing locked in place, and there's also a thumb nut that allows me to turn this around like this and then tighten it down so I've got a solid uh, lock in place for that cross piece. Lay it on the ground, put my target stand in place. You'll notice I'm using clips these days because I'm getting tired of getting stuck with staples. I've gotten infections off staples twice, so I try to avoid these. But with this setup right here, I can tear this up, tear this down real easy. No problem whatsoever. On an indoor range where I don't have any wind or anything like that, this is going to work just fine. But if I do go on an outdoor range and it does start to get blustery, no problem. Headed out to the hardware store, just got myself some of these large nails. I just put those right in that hole right there, drive them to the ground, no more rocks, no more boulders or anything like that to hold this thing up. When I want to tear this down, I pull these out, pull the target out, put it away, pick it up, loosen the thumb nut, twist it, and I can carry these in a large toolbox. 
Now you can see this is a, a toolbox for a Sawzall, but in this box right here, I can carry 10 or 12 of these stands, transport them back, forth, makes it real easy to do. So if you're looking for a compact target stand for your training purposes, check out Templar Custom Arms and ask for the handy stand. I think you're really going to like this. www.templarcustomarms.com Dave Spalding, Handgun Combatives. Thanks for checking in.